the Denver Nuggets have showed up and they have showed that they want to win. They have committed to their core four of Jamal Murray, Michael Porter Jr., Nikola Nilkic, and Aaron Gordon, and they are set to be one of the most dominant forces in the Western Conference throughout the next decade. Today, I want to talk about some of the moves that the Denver Nuggets have made this offseason, but most importantly, this core four, the group that they have around them, and how successful they could be in this upcoming season. If you do go on to enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And if you want to hear my other season previews, then be sure to subscribe to the channel as there will be many more to come as we approach the NBA season. The Denver Nuggets did not see too many players come in or come out in the summer. The biggest thing was just about retaining what they had and their commitment that they made to their core to winning with this group. Uh, so Michael Green was resigned, Will Barton was resigned, Marcus Howard and Austin Rivers also resigned, uh, retaining the good amount of depth that are on this team. It is an extremely deep team. That is one of the strongest things about this Denver Nuggets roster. And they made sure that they maintain that this upcoming season. The only key departures, of course, were JaVale McGee uh, and Paul Millsap. So they did definitely lose a bit of front court depth, uh, but bringing in Jeff Green will help fill a bit of that void and Bull Bull might see a bit of an increased role at the center spot this season. Uh, but nonetheless, other than the center spot, this team is still as deep as ever. But where the Denver Nuggets made their most notable moves this offseason was in their extensions. The extension of Aaron Gordon and the extension of Michael Porter Jr. And so when I say they have committed to their core, Jamal Murray is locked up, Aaron Gordon is locked up, Michael Porter Jr. is locked up, and Nikola Jokic, of course, is their main guy who I don't see going anywhere anytime soon. So they have their four. They have Jokic, they have Jamal Murray, they have Michael Porter Jr., and they have Aaron Gordon. Now, of course, Jamal Murray is going to be injured for the upcoming season, but they have committed to their core four. They have committed to winning with this group and committed to being one of the top teams in the Western Conference moving forward throughout the next decade. And so with that being said, with the main pieces of this roster under construction, what does this team look like moving forward? So let's talk about the Denver Nuggets for next season. Jamal Murray, of course, is going to be injured for the beginning of next season and most likely out for the first few months of the season. And hopefully he is back within a bit of time before the playoffs so he can get back into the system and up to game speed. Uh, but I would expect Monte Morris to have uh, most of those starting point guard minutes while Jamal Murray is out. And Monte Morris could start at point guard for some teams in the NBA. He's a solid point guard. He's nowhere near the level of Jamal Murray, no doubt. Uh, but he is a fine replacement while still having as much talent on the roster as they do around him. They will be more than fine as being a playoff team in the Western Conference and probably still a top seed in the Western Conference, even with the injury to Jamal Murray. Uh, will Barton will remain at the two. Michael Porter Jr., who I think will have an even better season, uh, will start at the three. I think he's poised to have an even bigger breakout year and show how effective and efficient he is on the offensive end get in his own bucket, off of catch and shoots, off of pin downs, you name it. Michael Porter Jr. is a bucket, and I expect him to continue even more so in this upcoming season, especially with Jamal Murray being out for a few months of the season. Aaron Gordon will be entering his first full year with the Denver Nuggets, and I, I think he fits in beautifully with this group as a guy who can just do all the little things, defend well, rebound, give you energy, cut to the basket, get offensive rebounds, have a little bit of his own offense if needed. He can just do everything for this group, and I think is going to fit in very well. For this upcoming season and then of course Nikola Jokic the reigning MVP in its center. Now when you talk about depth for this group uh, they have a lot of it. Their depth at the guard position consists of Compazzo, Austin Rivers, and PJ Dozier. PJ Dozier may also see a little bit of time at the three uh, and then at the forward spots they have Jeff Green and Jamichael Green who I think are both brilliant depth pieces for this team uh, and then they'll also have Bol Bol see some minutes at the center spot as well. Uh, it was also worth mentioning that Marcus Howard can also see some time in and around the guard spot. I think he had showed at the end of last season that he is a bucket as well and can get you some buckets off of this bench. And so don't be surprised to see him get some minutes towards the start of the season, specifically with Jamal Murray's injury as well. So Denver Nugget have, uh, have a very good team here. The question ultimately is, is this a championship contender? Uh, and I don't see why not. Their defense has improved, and that was the biggest thing with this group, is how good can their defense be. Uh, the acquisition of Aaron Gordon certainly helps it. The biggest thing for this team is going to be how good of a defender can Michael Porter Jr. be. Uh, if Michael Porter Jr. can develop into being a fairly good defender, this team is going to be amongst the best in the NBA. Uh, 
because Jokic has improved a lot on the defensive end and is now at least respectable on that end. Aaron Gordon is a very good defender. Michael Porter Jr. has a lot of strides to make. Jamal Murray is at least an okay defender. So they have a defense that can be good enough to carry the load for what is one of the best offenses in the league. Even without Jamal Murray next year, this is going to be one of the best offenses in the league. This is such a dominant team. They have such a strong offense, such great coaching, and led by such a versatile and unique player in Nikola Jokic. This is a team that I expect to be amongst the top of the Western Conference again next season. I have them finishing in the four seed, a bit lower than last year, one seed down. But of course, Jamal Murray is going to be out for a significant part of the year. That does have to be taken into consideration. But I do consider them championship contenders. I do consider them one of the teams that can win a title next year. Assuming that Jamal Murray is back, healthy, ready to roll back in game shape come playoff time. I think this is a group that can compete with the best of them. They can compete with the Lakers. They can compete with the Bucs. They're right in there. They could be competing to get into the NBA Finals this upcoming season. This is a very strong group. Jokic will lead them. And he has amazing pieces around them. They have great depth on the bench around that core four group. And I think this is a team that no one's going to be looking forward to playing in next year's Western Conference playoffs. I do have the Denver Nuggets one seed lower than I did last year, having them finish in the four seed and the three seed. You could certainly argue that went up or down. But with Jamal Murray missing a bit of time, I do think they're going to fall down the table a little bit. But at the end of the day, I still think they're going to be very competitive, very competent, and one of the most threatening and dangerous teams in the Western Conference when the playoffs roll around. That being said, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this Denver Nuggets team heading into next season and how competitive they will be in a very good Western Conference. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And if you want to hear my thoughts on other season previews, be sure to click the box on the right-hand side of the screen. That being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.